So you want to become a UI UX designer through untraditional means. Well, you've come to the right place and the right person. My name is Brandon Gross. I'm an Adobe partner and Springboard mentor, and I've had the pleasure of working with brands such as Adobe, Disney, Hilton, Salesforce, LG, and even done some really cool workshops with Dribbble. And the list goes on, but we're not here for that. <laughs> on top of all of that, I have zero degrees in UI UX, or really anything else for that matter. So have no fear. And listen, I can already hear you guys' voices. Brandon, how exactly does that even work? We're gonna go into all of those details today. We're gonna go into my background, how I got started in my career without really what is considered on the job experience. We'll talk about how I learned my skill sets, how I overcome my challenges and worked around them really to be able to showcase my value and ability to solve problems without traditional on the job experience. We'll talk about how I built my career, how I continue to build it and how you can too. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, we're gonna start with the very important equation that I carry with me regardless of what I'm doing. This is the equation that really helps me get wherever I wanna go in my career, but it's more importantly what helped me get into UI UX. There are so many things in the landscape of UI UX and it's important for us to understand where we're trying to really go in our careers before we learn any sort of skill set. Reason being is because there is so much in anything you decide you want to do in this world. So in UI UX, you could be building e-commerce, you could be doing mobile apps, you could be building Chrome extensions, so many things. It's important to have, which is our number one portion of this equation, is a direction. Once you know what to do, learning skills becomes very easy. Otherwise, if you don't pick a direction, you're basically just gonna learn a whole bunch of generalized skills and not know how to apply it. If you know you're gonna work for a cat and dog e-commerce platform, you can pretty much figure out what type of challenges that they deal with. Whether you go on their website and you're like, oh, these are the things that they are particularly dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis or the things that they are having to build, whether you observe that or you talk to people on their team through LinkedIn and kind of get an understanding of what type of projects they're working on, what have you. And the easiest way for you to figure out what it is that really the direction you'd like to go in is asking ourselves, what do I utilize on a day-to-day -day basis as a consumer or as a, what do I like? What type of purchasing habits do I do? Do I love my shoes? Do I love my clothes? Do I have a certain particular type of food or is there a certain type of entertainment or television that I like? All of these things give us direction in terms of what our passions are. Find that passion first because all of those type of companies, they all have websites, they all have apps, they all need people to help them refresh, build better their digital real estate. Once we have our direction, we can figure out in the UI UX landscape, if I want to work for these particular brands, organizations, or individuals, what particular things do I need to learn to actually go there? That way we start to get a little bit of clarity now in my case thankfully YouTube was available and I could essentially just learn bits and pieces of the things that I actually wanted to execute on in the direction I wanted to go now the full equation here that we're gonna end up talking about here is direction learning in that direction and then being able to produce something of value to be able to take and showcase to the people in the direction you want to go that you are actually somebody that can help them with their challenges that they're facing on a day-to-day -day basis in their either life, business, etc. That's what value is. In the beginning, and this is what Springboard helps tremendously with in this middle part, once I know my direction, there's a million and 20 things that maybe I have to figure out that I need to learn. Now, with courses, things of this nature, you can definitely take a solo approach on this, but the hidden thing is, is that you have to figure out what you don't know and figure out what you need to actually learn. And this is what is great with basically having mentors or essentially people helping you along the way of understanding, hey, this is the direction you would like to go. Well, here are some of the things you wanna to consider to actually going in that direction. Having people along the way to help you keep on track with your goals, that is huge. This is what I do in my personal life now. I hire people, whether it be mentors, business coaches, to help me keep me in line with what I would like to be doing and do it quicker. Now, once you've done learning exactly all the things that you might need to actually understand and be able to do, now you need to actually be able to showcase that you can do those things. Theoretic knowledge is great and all, but when people are hiring or they're pe looking for people of value, they need to see something that is actually visible and which is actually great about our industry is we can actually show our work. We're like inventors. We can say, hey, we can do X, Y, and Z or provide X, Y, and Z. By the way, here's an example of it. This is the before. This is how I approached the particular challenge at hand. And this was the outcome. And that is what we call a case study. 
and we can take that case study and say, hey, person in the particular direction I would like to be going. I understand that you have challenges like this, this, and that. I actually worked on this problem that deals with the exact challenges that you're currently having in your organization. That is my full circle of direction, learning, being able to showcase your value and being able to sell that value in the direction you would like to go. And that's really what has gotten me to where I am today. Pretty simple. Now, some of you might be asking, what is the real world experience? With that whole thing with jobs, like you need experience before experience, or we see on job listings like, need five plus years of experience. Here's the thing. Regardless of time of experience, you are the one they need to help them solve that challenge that they're having. Thomas Edison, here's where we are in terms of illumination of our city. We have, you know, gas lamps, we have candles, things of that nature. I think I can do one better. And so he tinkered on multiple iterations of a light bulb. And through trial and error, figuring out what worked, what didn't work, he created something that worked the best and was able to bring that to market. Same thing. I found what the people in the organizations that I wanted to work with, what their challenges were through either talking to people or just looking on their websites or mobile apps, figuring out a better way of doing it, learned how to do it a little bit better if I didn't know how to do it better, and then actually produced a case study that I could actually bring to them either in a LinkedIn message, hey, so-and-so, I love what you guys are doing at X company. I saw that you all were working on this particular part of your website, and I thought, here were some of my thoughts and possible solutions for this part of your website. Let me know your thoughts. Would love to have a conversation if this intrigues you. And what this does is one, it builds a relationship, and two, if what I have done and I spent time on proves to be of value to this individual, I jump up in the list of people who, of who are of value to them. And why I do this is because this puts me above everybody who just sent in a resume. People don't care what you know until they know that you care. And I take that quote so seriously because what people value is value. If you're able to figure out what these individuals you wanna work with value, be able to produce it, give it to them even without asking, you've helped them in their day without them even expending any energy and they will want more of that on their team. This is the golden equation that has gotten me into my career, has gotten me where I am today and continues to produce fruit for me. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how I've gotten to where I am today and how you can break into your UI UX career, continue to build your career if you're already a designer and so much more. If you have any questions, drop them down in the chat. We'll be here to answer any of them. Springboard has two amazing courses, each in these areas, and you can use the links below to sign up today. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed what we talked about here and it was helpful, as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell to get videos from us every week when they go live. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Bye.